Brandon, welcome to Crawley. How happy are you to get the deal over the line? Yeah, over the moon to get the deal done now. Um, it's been in the pipeline for quite a while, so yeah, really delighted to, to get it done. Yeah, you mentioned this deal has been in the pipeline for a while. What made you want to join the club? I think um, I wouldn't put it down to one particular thing. I think there's so much good things going on at Crawley. Um, obviously with the new owners, the gaffer coming in and, and playing a good brand and style of football, I think it made it really attractive for me to, to come and get you know myself playing and get myself back enjoying my football again. So I think those are the main factors in the move. Yeah, you mentioned there we've got a new gaffer, Kevin Betsy. How have your first discussions been like with him? Yeah, really positive. Um, similar styles and backgrounds as to what I'm used to. Um, over the course of my career, I'm used to, you know, keeping the ball, uh, playing up from the back and trying to work through the thirds of, you know, the game and, and attack teams consistently in the game. So I think it's been an easy, you know, conversation and transition um, in, in joining the club. Yeah, you mentioned there you've got plenty of EFL experience, but for the fans that maybe haven't seen you, how would you describe yourself as a player and sort of what position do you prefer to play? I do like to excite fans when I can and yeah, try and keep people on the edge of their seats, whether that's, you know, big tackles, um, getting forward when I can, uh, crosses, um, try and add goals to my game as well. The fans that were here against the QPR game, they would have seen you. I yeah. think we've had a fair few comments on social media of please sign number 34, please sign the yeah. Chinese. So it must feel good to know that you've impressed them already before you've actually signed for the club? Yeah, I think uh, it was just an instant connection. I think um, when I played against QPR and, you know, after the first couple of times on the ball and I felt, you know, the positive um, impact and feeling from the fans, um, it was really nice, you know, and yeah, long may that continue. So. Yeah, and I suppose the benefit of signing for the club after you've played a game is you've already got to know your new teammates. Have you had any crossovers with any of the lads before or is this the first time meeting a lot of them? Uh, to be fair, Corey Adai, a keeper, I was with him at Coventry for quite a while, so funny guy and <laughs> good character. But yeah, a lot of the lads um, I've played against um, a few times, good players, uh, Kwesi uh, being one of them, um, Aramidi as well, so good players and all really welcoming, so it makes the transition into like a new changing room uh, really, really easy. So. Yeah, and we've not got long till the season starts now. Only a couple of pre-season games left. I'm sure you're just raring to get going, aren't you? Yeah, raring to get going. Obviously, it's going to be a big challenge ahead and we're going to go for the promotion this year. There's no question of that, um, about that. So, fingers crossed we can, you know, start off to a flyer and finish off the pre-season game strong, which will put us in great stead and condition to, to be ready for the first game. Yeah, you mentioned there the team ambition of promotion, but do you have any personal aims for this season? Yeah, personally, you know, I think about the team first always when I when I play every game. I give everything for the badge and the fans, uh, manager, staff. Um, but personally, yeah, I just want to contribute as much as I can. Um, hopefully be, you know, one of the most influential players in the league and contribute with a lot of, you know, stuff defensively and a lot of stuff going forward. So, yeah, those are the aims. Brandon, yeah. welcome to Crawley. Cheers, thank you.